Hi, I'm Nessa and this is Cara, the caravan. Uh, so I didn't go to Brands Hatch because, well, briefly I ran out of money and the weather was supposed to be shocking again. And after Donington's experience, I was like, yeah, I've had enough of getting wet and muddy and crap. Uh, so yeah, I decided not to go. Um, so, but I am going to Snetterton this weekend in Norfolk for the British Touring Cars. Um, so I can't wait to get away again in Cara. Although I have found since coming back from uh, Donington and the caravan, caravan being absolutely filthy, um, that I had an altercation with somebody in a red car in Milton Keynes going around the roundabouts. Um, they didn't give me enough room and they tried to overtake me on the left hand side, passenger side, and I've noticed something. I'm not very happy, but I'm going to try and do a temporary fix, if I can pull the charger out the phone and show you what's gone on. Oh, So, yeah, somebody uh, who then brake tested me on the roundabout and gave me all kinds of signals, if you know what I mean, um, they seem to have given Kara a bit of a new look, fortunately. So I'm going to try and fix it with a bit of Gorilla Tape that I used on the shower floor. I know it's waterproof. Uh, hopefully, <laughs> hello dog. Uh, hopefully, that will do a good enough job on Miss Cara. Make sure it's all stuck down. Uh, there. Um, yeah. Thanks to the person in Milton Keynes in the red car. She's now got a plaster. Never mind. Hopefully that's come on the camera. Yeah. So, never mind. How can I say? She's never going to be pristine. She's 23 years old, for goodness sake. And look at me at 23 years old. I'm not pristine anymore. <laughs> Anywho, yeah, so I just thought I'd come, I'd do that little job with this Gorilla Tape. Let's see if you can see the label inside. Where am I going? That way. Yeah, a bit of Gorilla Tape. Like I say, used it on the shower tray where the cracks are. It's doing a good enough job. Um, what else I've got to tell you? Oh, I know I've got to tell you. Um, Dan Trudgeon did a video on what he was using. Oh my God, look at the state of that. Uh, let's turn you around. My water barrel. I think it needs a clean. Yeah. Um on the black stuff in the tank and he was using all different kinds of products and I asked him what about using PuroClean in the tank uh, so I left it in there for 24 hours full tank one scoop of PuroClean and then flushed it all the way through got the system to flush it all the way through into the um, cassette at the bottom and it seems to have done the job there were no more black spots when I flushed it through 
Now that could be because I flushed through the whole of the tank in one go, or it could be that it's actually worked. Who knows? We will find out this weekend. Uh, but I've stopped using uh, so much of the pink. I showed you in, an, in a previous vlog that I now use these uh, little sachets, blue and pinks. But it comes with eight blues and only two pinks. So mm, I used to just chuck pink in the tank and let it get on with it. But now it's measured, like I say, we'll see this weekend whether I get any more black stuff, but hopefully not. <clears throat> So I flushed it through twice, the whole tank through twice, and there was no black black stuff. You know, the little floaty things that, that always get stuck to the bowl, always. But then I don't have a porcelain bowl, I have a plastic bowl. So, we'll see, we'll see. Anyway, I am waffling on. I've got not a lot else to do. I need to pack away my son's duvet and pillows because he's not coming this weekend he's told me um which means that i get the whole of the caravan to myself living room can stay as living room doesn't have to be a bedroom um i am hopefully gonna get the awning up this weekend though at snetterton because i want to check it i haven't had that awning out probably this time last year when I stayed at Ridgemont for a week yeah I probably haven't had it out for a year so yeah I want to check it it's the air beam one because I have seen that there is a small porch awning on Aldi for 150 quid and it's just one air beam bar and it would just be somewhere to sit or take your shoes off. Not like the, the one that I've got, which apparently is a porch awning. But I can get four people, well, six people in there to eat no problem, quite comfortably. And have a bucket of beer on the side as well. So, yeah, I'm going to do that. That's uh, Snetterton. I'll have the time to do that because I'm going... I've taken annual leave for the f Thursday nights because I work nights. Um, so I've taken annual leave for the Thursday night so I can get there early on Friday now. Um, so I can, I'll have time to set up and get my new um, awning carpet that I got from, where did I get that from? Oh, Morrison's for 15 quid. I'm going to see if it's any good or not. If it's not, then... You know, it'll go on maybe on the patio in the house, in the garden. Or I'll give it to somebody who's got a tent who could use something like that. But I'll have a go first <laughs> before I give it away. Um, yeah, gas struts are still working. My little bit of handiwork. They're working fine. That's good. Yeah, that's good happy with that uh, I still need to do the one on the front locker I might have to take a photograph of that because it's probably different to those ones yeah see what codes on the side of that gas strut because I am fed up <laughs> it it works intermittently so I can be fine it can be fine i can be working underneath it you know trying to find stuff like the hookup cables or the winders and stuff like that and then it just bonks me on the top of the head or i get a really wet back because it kind of goes down slowly and then i just get it all down my back never mind um <clears throat> yeah so that's just a couple of little jobs um I'm not going to bother changing the bedding because I was only in it for two days 
and it's fine. I let I rolled it all back so it was aired. Uh, what else have I got to do? Nothing really, and then I've just got to get ready for work, and um, yeah, spend two nights at work. Oh, I know what's going to show you. I know what's going to show you. I installed these this year, and I flipping love them. But I don't know oh, if, I, if I pull the blind down, it might show up a bit. Um. Ah, that might be better. Right, let's turn you around. I bought these from Ikea and I'm really pleased with them. So, because most of my camping is off-grid and I have a solar panel, but yeah, I bought these. They've got eight functions. Eight functions, you see that? Oops, see that? Yeah. And I love them. Proper girly. And they've gone all the way round the caravan. So all the way up there. Double, double string. All the way round the front. You can't really see them, can you see them? Oh yeah, all the way to there. And I love them. They were a couple of quid. It was a pack of two from Ikea. <clears throat> show you. Gradual. Super flashy. Static. Elf. Oh. So yeah, eight functions. Well, nine if you include off. Yeah, I like them. Yeah, so what else have I got to tell you? Nothing really. Uh, because I've taken Thursday night off, then I'll go food shopping on Thursday. Um, and then, yeah, stick that all in the fridge in the freezer for Friday night dinner. And uh, enjoy quite a few beers and maybe some rums as well, if I'm very lucky. Right, you have a safe one, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.